So I came out the band and said, my dad called me, oh yeah, here we go, you're going to go solo. It's been his dream since I was a kid, his dream. Mm. And I said, I'll only do it if the right song comes along, otherwise I'm not bothered. I don't want to tarnish the legacy I have already. I've done something that's already worldwide famous and I've got fucking gold records. So I said, I don't need to do this. It's not important to me. Ed Sheeran wrote me this song and I thought, oh, shit. Oh, no. Here we bloody well go again. Oh, Here we go, no. boys. Pull your shorts up, off we pop. And um, yeah, we did the first song, Billion Streams. I think it outsold everybody within the band and I was the last to go. Oh, and I never God. expected that. And I'm sat there going, shit, it's you, gone rather well, hasn't it? You could do it. But then you how do, do you it. go from there? Yeah. You know, it was like, how do you go from there? And I didn't know, I still don't know who I am. I replicate different people on a daily basis. Like, I, I still don't know who I am. That's the worst part of it because it's like selling an identity to people that, I, I, I'm me, so I can only sell me. And then the different thing was I'd just gone out of the writing zone. I don't want to say why, but I'd stop writing in that sense. And it was more difficult to write for my own project because I was like trying to pull for my own life, which is also very vastly confused. And a boy who's been locked in a hotel room since he was 15 years old. So I don't even know what I like. So what can I write songs about? Or is that the best? You said it's the worst part. The worst it, part. Maybe, it, maybe worst it's part. the best part. No, I mean, be listen, I've had a fantastic career. I think to date at the moment, I've done six and a half billion streams worldwide, right? It's, it's amazing. I'm so happy for it. I didn't want to do it because I just... I knew what, what was going to happen to me within the process of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been a great, interesting journey. And also having, you know, four of the boys that we, I mean, we have, there's one, there's one record that we have for being one of the only bands in history to have every member in the top 40 in the American charts, beating Fleetwood Mac, beating so-and-so. Like when you name stuff like that, it's like, wow, like, and that's a group effort, by the way. Yeah.